These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here. And today we're going to be talking about the American Lung Association and why, for some reason, they're asking the FDA to basically lie to every smoker in the United States. Huge thank you to Reason Magazine and Guy Bentley for doing the, the research and the heavy lifting on this topic. Recently, the American Lung Association has thrown an incredibly odd request at the FDA. They've announced that the FDA should back off from telling the public that vaping is any safer than smoking. What? U.S. surveys show that many people think vaping nicotine is just as bad as smoking cigarettes. The FDA's new five-year strategic plan aims to fix this misconception by educating people about the relative risks of these different tobacco products, a spectrum of harm, if you will, with combustible cigarettes that harm every organ in your body on one end, and then things like snus, vaping, heat not burn, NRTs at the other less harmful end. The ALA wants the FDA to ditch any plans about informing adults about these relative risks. They argue that the FDA should have no part in encouraging smokers to switch to e-cigarettes. But here's the thing, science and research, including the very prestigious gold standard Cochrane review suggests that Vaping and e-cigarettes are more effective than patches and gum at getting smokers to quit to the tune of almost twice as effective. So why is the ALA asking the FDA to keep life-saving information from the public? This is, at its core, I believe, an ethical debate. Should public health authorities withhold the truth? Dave Dobbins, a consultant to tobacco companies and a former COO of the Truth Initiative, raises concerns about the long-term consequences if public health authorities aren't truthful. Dobbins believes the ALA might have gotten it wrong. He thinks they've misinterpreted the science and taken an ideological stance. He is certainly not alone in those beliefs. But what's at stake here really is American lives. If the FDA heeds the ALA's warning, it will prolong smoking in the United States, which still kills that's right, 480,000 Americans every single year. Over 40% of all cancer diagnoses in the United States is due to smoking cigarettes. Smoking cigarettes leads to cancers of the mouth, the throat, the voice box, esophagus, stomach, kidney, pancreas, liver, bladder, cervix, colon and rectum, and a type of leukemia. That is what is at stake. The American Lung Association's fear is that if people know vaping is safer than smoking, more people might start using nicotine. But as Dave Dobbins points out, we can't live in a world where nobody makes choices and sometimes trying to force virtue on others comes with its own costs. If the American Lung Association cared about cancer rates, they should probably start taking their cues from countries like Sweden, who through the use of harm reduction products like snus and vaping have the lowest cancer rates in the entire world. Swedish citizens still use and enjoy nicotine, but they have been informed about like the relative risks of these products and have the freedom to choose. American Lung Association doesn't want Americans to have the freedom or knowledge to choose a less harmful alternative. I can't be so cynical as to think that the ALA would want to deliberately misinform the public just to keep cancer rates up, maintain their relevance and funding, but I can't see any other way around this. It seems like that's exactly what they're doing, and that is pure evil. It's time for a grim green terrible analogy. This would be kind of like the American Burnt Foot Association telling the government to stop telling people about shoes because the American Burnt Foot Association relies on Americans with burnt feet in order to stay relevant and maintain their funding. That's pure evil. Anyway, that's what I got for today. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of the American Lung Association. If you like what you see here, drop me a like on this video and absolutely destroy that subscribe button. Lots of tobacco misinformation to clear up out there and I'm kind of just getting started. This has been a Grim Green video. Yeah, let's stay smoke free every single day. In spite of the American Lung Association, let's stay smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.